Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day and today is Saturday the 15th and today was a lovely day outside. Temperatures reached tank low 80s, um, had a nice breeze, a little bit of rain here and there, kind of rained off and on, but overall pretty good day. Woke up this morning, um, got a couple things done real quick and moved around some the coolers and some ice snacks. I still don't have a refrigerator that works yet, um, trying to find out whether or not it's going to be repairable or if we got to replace it, we're still messing with that. So took care of it, um, went ahead and basically hung around here a little while, took off. Um, Karen made us peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which was nice. We took off over to go to Tampa to go over to the um, Museum of Science and Industry, I think is what it is, Mosey. Um, ended up going over there and checking that out, which I thought it was a little farther drive over to Tampa. That was about twice as far as it was. It's only a little over two hours. I thought it was a little bit over four hours to um, Tampa, but it's not. So got there, had a great time. Um, insane traffic. I don't know what's up with the traffic. I don't know if there's just a ton of people out traveling now. Being said, last weekend was a hurricane and everybody was finally made it to the week and they just wanted to go somewhere and get out of town or what it was, which was not really ours. Ours was we had tickets that expired um, soon. This was our only weekend to get over there and do it. So went ahead, got that done. Um, the science, this uh, Museum of Science and Industry and stuff is a really nice place, but there's a ton of stuff that doesn't work. People just abuse things like the start button for the program or this little knob here and things, and things are just broke. And they don't, my thing is put a damn note on it that says it's broke and let us know so we don't sit there forever or like the one the guy came over and told us Karen and I were both using different machines at the time and he said this one you got to hold the like button down for like two seconds each time you make it a response try to get a response and put a note there because the guy we'd already been out here and was like frustrated and started to walk away and the guy walked over and told her hold it down for two seconds and it'll work and I'm like just put a note up this is hold it down for two seconds and a lot of their stuff was not very well explained it how to make the item work or how to make the device, the testing or whatever go. It was more about just like, this is what it's gonna do and not like how it does it and like what you need to do to make it work. So there was like all kinds of little things and stuff. And it's a lot about um, the human body. There's all thing from birth to, you know, cancer to replacement bones and 3D printing of like kneecaps and all kinds of really cool stuff. And we had a good time, but it wasn't great. There was a sky, uh, zip line course there. It's like 12 bucks extra, which we did not do. Um, Karen doesn't do um, heights real well. And when we got there, it looked like it was just a ton of people online for it to go through. And it was like really, you had like an obstacle course you had to walk up to. And it looked like there were so many people you had to like, you could walk a little ways and people were taking like five minutes to walk across one rope ladder thing. And I didn't feel like messing with that line. So they have a butterfly house exhibit, which was not, um, unfortunately not very impressive either. They had a really cool water um, filtering exhibit that was amazing, that was really cool. Had a hurricane recreator, so if you wanted to you go in there and get in the hurricane, see what the winds feel like, that was pretty interesting. Um, they had just a lot of really cool stuff. It's definitely worth it. Um, but I wish we would have done it backwards. Uh, we went over to like the kids' discovery zone and had a lot more interactive things that were not broke yet, ironically. The things with the adults was broke and the things for the kids were all working, which was kind of weird. So one of them had a handful of really cool little things. They had like a giant um, stand-up size checkerboard. We played some checkers and had some little RC type toys you could drive around and stuff and different little deals and watched an IMAX movie, The National Parks, and that was really, really cool. We sat in the wrong spot that we should have set up higher and didn't know we'd never been in the um, IMAX dome before. So if we ever go to the IMAX again, we'll notice set up much higher next time. So we did a lot of looking back trying to see the screen, which sucked, but it is what it is. And we got it done. It was a beautiful, beautifully shot, um, super sponsored down Hank and stuff. A lot of climbing. They were people that, that were definitely into climbing, everything from um, Utah to frozen ice, you know, waterfalls. They were climbing those as well. So definitely a lot of really cool scenery there. Um, from there, we headed out. Um, ended up um, grabbing ourselves just a couple uh, the Whopper uh, meal, two meals for 10 bucks at Burger King. I've been seeing advertised for a long time and haven't been to Burger King and crap, I don't know, it's been a long ass time, maybe like a year since I've been to Burger King. So stopped in there and got that. It was pretty good. Uh, just drove home. I ended up with a massive headache. I started getting a headache over there at the Science Center. I don't know what was causing it. By the time I got home, I was just, I was beat. I, my head was just destroyed. So I ended up laying down. I literally walked in the house and put my coolers down and walked in the bedroom and just laid down. Um, got up um, right before, well, a little early enough before midnight that I could get my clothes changed into some running gear. Went, got my running. I ran um, late 11, you know, like 11.40 or it was, until midnight. And then from midnight, I ran home. That way I got both days done, so I'm done for Saturday or Sunday as well. So, But, um, yeah, my head was just destroyed. I don't know what's going on with it. But hopefully I get it figured out. It still hurts today, and today's actually Sunday. But I'm still doing yesterday's vlog, so... But anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.